Still recording? Oh man, yeah. dude. Dang, that Brady guy sucks. Oh, that guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing at it. You're laughing. Honestly. Did you hear he got a new dog though? <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> I'd say you were like the yeah, best math teacher I've ever had, but like the bar isn't that high. 
So it's not, it's not a competition. It's like you're up here. I had one lady who just did all the maths in high school and college, and then they let her teach, and we didn't learn anything. Uh, Miss Rector. Because X Y Z. And then Z that's never done. Why is there a Wait, wait. Uh, X, Y, Z. I liked her. I mean, she was a fun person. Where is her I didn't learn that much math from her, you know what I mean? What's uh, uh, what's parametric for? Uh, number five. That's just because you're an idiot. I thought you were looking at the top part. Oh, stupid. Oh, this is the answer to five to C. Why is it Z? You're stupid. Or it's Y. Oh, okay. So what's the answer? Jeez. What's the velocity and speed? I points? actually thought that I was didn't know. Okay, the velocity on number five was two negative three. Wait. This is from yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. The speed was how the distance that you travel when you go to negative three. So it's basically the Pythagorean theorem. The velocity is 2, negative 3. It's the thing next to the T. And the speed is basically the magnitude of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. magnitude. So you get 2 squared plus 3 squared is like squared. What is the importance of that? This was five, number 5 from yesterday. The answer? Or? Well, it was 5C. Did you guys not do it? We did. Well, then why are you reading it? Because they threw out that point. All right. Well, did you guys find the link from the midpoint for eight? Okay. Why don't you guys try this practice? Let's see if you got it right. Do eight. Let's go. Dang it. Thought you were gonna get out of it, didn't you? Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get in my head. He's got a point. <laughs> If it was at a basketball game, because there was a game going on and it was a basketball game because Drew didn't play basketball freshman year. Wouldn't that be funny if I took your guys' phone on Wednesday? You did. That's what I'm saying. Take her phone. Remember when you took my phone because Bay was on it? No, really. That was in middle school. And I got to the office and they're like, well, how do you take your phone? I was like, oh, Bay was on it. And she's like, 
Oh, he let the girl use his phone. Oh, well, you okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't that. You don't? No. You were doing something on it. Did you build her? What was I doing on uh, it? I don't know. I thought oh, you didn't know your password. No, no she wasn't in Are you sure it wasn't uh, Jordan? No, it was you. I, I don't remember it. I remember when I didn't trust arrows on the line. Oh, <laughs> 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 You got like minus three because you didn't know. Like minus you had to find a mistake minus. in you, Matthew. That's a compliment. <laughs> I remember back in the day when the easiest way to take on a for each on the way was just to like mark a little thing on the board. What do you mean back in the day? You, you know, still can do that. I, I know, say. but like nowadays you're like much more chill about it. Back then you would have ripped me apart. Remember the old That's because I hated you. <laughs> That's no. the difference. It was on the back right side. Oh, it's a different conversation. Remember when you came to What'd you say? She said we don't have hate anymore. And then we do it like scandal. Just like, yeah, I do. I don't want to move anywhere else. Oh! Wow. I'm just better at hiding. You can use? Yeah. One second. Okay. Shh. Did you guys get this? Boys, you get this? Uh, yeah. More or less. We agree. I didn't get that one half, though. You like, like you're not I got point five. Really hard. Yeah. Anyone on there? Um, I'm hilarious. Jupiter or not? Oh, I have a question, actually. <laughs> Did we get any of these? What? No, no. I think we did nine, at least. I don't know if I put nine on the test, but I think we did. All right. Um, yeah, let's talk about nine, I guess. What about 13? Okay, on number nine, um, if we want a line parallel to that given, given equation. <laughs> So, 0, negative 4, and 6 is just like a point that the line goes to, basically. The 4, 1, 3 kind of gives you like the direction that the line goes in. So For every, as t goes up, it keeps moving 4 in the x direction and 1 in the y direction, 3. So, this is kind of like the slope in, when you're writing it in this form, the equation in this form. So if you want a line parallel to this, you just need to use the same slope, basically the same the same velocity, is what the book calls it. But it says it needs to go through point two one seven, so you just put two one seven here. That's it. That's it. Is that gonna be the test? Eh, probably not. So should we write it down? Sure. Nine uh, B. Where does L intersect the XZ plane? Uh, explain all this again. So the X and Z plane. Oh, I don't like this stuff. Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> I don't really want to explain it again. So this is the Z or X, right? Y, Z. You know what actually messes me up about this? I look at it as if the corner is here and it's going that way. So every time, you, yeah, every time you draw it, that's why it confuses me. What do you mean the corner is there now? It's because it so like, makes it look so like, like the corner is I, I look at, my brain for some reason looks at it as if the corner is here and it, if their lines are going this way. She looks at it as if the corner like is the closest close to, it. to us. Yeah. Yes. But then the corner would be like tilted and it'd be all weird. Mm -hmm. all right, you can draw a shape of that. Okay. I'm going to just draw like the rest it of the lines. It looks like a part of a cube. I see a square. Yeah, but it looks way more going this So way. the XZ plane would be like this thing, right? And what do we know about points on the XZ plane? Can we be trying this? Yeah. Okay. What's the Y value? Zero. Zero. Okay. What else does it say? Where does L intersect the XZ plane? 
So the y value has to be zero. So we get the y value by basically doing negative one plus one t. You guys see where I got that from? In the, I'm looking at number nine. It's the parametric equation for y on number nine. Negative one plus one t. So the y value is basically negative 1 plus 1t. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. So we know if it's on the xz plane, the y value has to be 0. So you just set this equal to 0. It's all for t. That's it. Like algebra? So like plus 1? Yeah, plus 1 divided by 1t is 1. Voila. So how do you get negative 1? Uh, the original equation. Yeah. That's the y value. That's how you get the y value. Oh, okay. It's called the parametric equation, kind of number five. Yeah. Hey, uh, we didn't do 11 and 12. Did we do 13? Wait, are we done? Do we have the y? I, like I mean, the x and the z one. Yeah. Yeah. I should be able to show them. Oh, well. Do we do it the same way? Actually, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, it's, it's almost not. Nice. Boys. I have it. Hey. So t equals 1 is you actually you're supposed to plug 1 back into the, for t, into the original equation. So, wait, is this it? Hey, yeah. Let's do it right there. Put 1 right there. And you get x is 2 plus 4, 6. Sure, sure. Let my people go. Yeah, you. 